Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, you guys. All right. You guys get to all see this right now. Okay. So just so you guys understand, I just got into town um, from Charlotte. We just finished up. And I'm going to do, give me the name again. A mukbang. That just sounds really good, right? A little mukbang action here. And Bobo, you tell me what we got here, kid. Come here. Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Let's let's Mondo just do this. Beef. I'm gonna be eating all this. Oh my crab ragoon. Okay, we're gonna have to save this off. It's a full box of uh food. We're gonna set this up and we're gonna be chowing that down. Um if you guys over on TikTok or or the YouTube, you guys are gonna see this little feast. Feast. All right. So why am I feasting today? It is a celebration. It is it is a enjoyable celebration. Uh, a lot like the Rock on his Sundays, he gets to enjoy. Unfortunately, I have been working and traveling for fourteen days, um, and so technically, this last of this travel day is a fun day for me um so we're gonna, we're gonna try to fill up on some serious calories here right now um but the reason why uh, i wanted to jump on today and talk to you guys is because i put out a video probably a couple weeks ago now talking about when i was younger i had to give up something and i gave up sleep so i could chase the dream um and the dream was, you're going to be crazy about this, but it was uh, to win Mr. Universe, to uh, win uh, California powerlifting, go to the nationals and win that, to compete in judo, to um, get gladiators, get the soap operas, do the movies, um, make the money, invest the money at a young age to build uh, a foundation of uh, commercial real estate um, and, and also have somewhat of a personal life. And so at those young ages of 18, 19, 20, and, and continuing forward from there, the one thing that suffered was sleep. And in a perfect world, I would like to say, hey, guess what, everybody, you get, go get your eight hours of sleep and keep working out and doing all that. That's, a, that's in a perfect world. Um, I've never actually been able to mentally, and I don't know if you guys, some of you will get this, uh, bodybuilding lifestyle. So a bodybuilding lifestyle, we joke about this, is, is the guy that doesn't really have work. Maybe his girl pays for him. And he just uh, sleeps, gets his sleep in, eats his perfect calories, goes to the gym and trains twice a day and, and you know, nothing else. So he could go on to win uh, shows and, and bodybuild. I never wanted the one dimension. I never wanted to be uh, just a bodybuilder. Um, my goal was, again, it was... My idols were uh, Bruce Lee and Arnold Schwarzenegger at such a young age, and I wanted to be a mixture of those two. And so I had to do a lot more things than just a, a, a I guess you would say, a cookie cutter bodybuilder would do. Um, and most of the bodybuilders I know that are successful never were that full-time bodybuilder, just FYI for you. And you go, no, no, they, they slept their times, they did this, they did this. Most of the ones I know and I'm friends with still to this day are hustlers they they freaking hit it uh and again if one thing suffers it is the sleep can you be successful um can you win the universe well i won the universe four times i won the usa i won mr uh natural america mr international all these shows and california all these shows being a guy that only really slept five to six hours on a good day on a good day um so again, it worked for me. Understand this. I'm not saying that that's what you should do. I'm just saying that in, in the, there's people out there that did succeed, that didn't do the eight hours of sleep, didn't do the cold bath in the morning, that didn't do the sauna 20 minutes every day, that didn't do the 15 minutes of stretching before and after, that didn't do cardio every single day. There's people that succeeded out there not doing those things before all this, you know, so that was one thing I really wanted to say and kind of lay that down for you guys. And again, take care of yourself. Try to get your sleep. I just had so many things that I wanted to try to accomplish. And lucky enough, the sacrifice paid off. 
And that's at the end of the day. So I'm also the guy that's going to tell you it worked for me. Will it work for somebody else? Who knows? I'm not the guy that says that it can't work for the other people. Um, and I'm also not the guy that's going to say I'm genetically gifted. When you get to the pro ranks of these top individuals, they're all genetically gifted. So that's just out the window, that whole concept of I, I somehow have this in genetic freaky tendons and joints. I trained a smart way. I, I understand it. Um, I did the very best I can. I tried to get the most sleep I possibly could. But at the end of the day, I had to give up something and I needed time. I needed time to do things. And so I had to give up the sleep portion of this. Um, and, and again, I know right now social media is an echo and, and there is a small rabbit hole of just a few people that give really great information. But again, you got to take the information the very best you can. It's um, so I'm doing a sale this weekend. I'm doing a sale of a test booster. Here's an example. Test booster. Right now, everybody on here, a majority of you going, well, that shit don't work. Okay. You take vitamin C when you got a cold. You take vitamin B. You take vitamin D. You take the most simple, basic stuff that helps you. And now you're thinking the research on a test booster isn't going to naturally boost your testosterone? You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. And you want to believe that it doesn't. That way you don't have to maybe take the test booster and work out a little harder and diet a little harder and maybe do get your sleep relative to what I did. And still do. It's it's all possible. All of it is. And the echo on the internet is unless you do this, 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 unless you get up and do your cold bath, which I'm not saying I don't like cold baths. I'm just saying I'm probably one of those guys that did it last week for the first time. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. Um, but try to get your sleep. Try to eat better. Again, I've said it since the 80s. Eat properly for your body. That's the smartest thing you could possibly do. And eat right for your body at all times. That's the one thing I never wavered on. And it, I've it talked about, there's old videos of me 20, 30 years ago talking about that. That never wavered. If there's anything that's never wavered it is my nutrition and staying on point for what I needed at that time. And then on top of it, I never miss workouts. Why again? Because I was crazy enough to set up a four o'clock time in the beginning of my life and say, I'm staying to that time. Because no matter what, no matter what job I got, no matter, I don't give a shit if I'm a garbage man, I can still get a workout in at four o'clock in the morning. So those were the most important things for me that I never slipped up on. And then on top of that, try to live the best life you can, try to, try to have fun with this, and try to make sure that you're doing something that you freaking enjoy. Because if you enjoy this stuff, four o'clock in the morning seems like Christmas morning to me. And I think you miss that. Every morning I wake up and it's it's great right now because I got a buddy that's staying in town and I get to get up and go downstairs and the opening of the present is seeing my buddy and we eat our meal and then we go to the gym and train. It's that ridiculous for me on how I think about the gym. It really is. And so if you ever wondered about, well, why don't you miss? I freaking love my life. I love it. It is fun. I still am healthy to where I get to do stupid stuff like behind the neck press. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. I'm fine doing it. I still train heavy as I possibly can. And again, it's not heavy for an individual. It's heavy for a champion power lifter. And I'm still good with it. And it's still fun. And I still have enjoyment. And I still have enjoyment with this. The most basic exercises. I get as much sleep as I can. I get up at three in the morning. I go to the gym at four in the morning. And then I do the most basic exercises. I don't go to the gym ever like this and go, ah, squat again. I just squatted the last 365 years in a row. Let me do something different. No, I squat again. It's, it's when you guys talk about like Tom Brady being the goat of football. He still does his basic footwork. He's been walking a while, right? <laughs> you think he'd have his footwork down. He still does his footwork. And I keep saying that over and over again for you guys. Try to find the 
I get to work out, not that I have to work out. Get the excitement of you get to get up in the morning and you're healthy enough to go do this, then freaking enjoy it. Um, this is this is a fun, fun journey, and especially fun uh, today because I get to get in a good amount of calories right now uh, with friends and celebrate. Uh, because we just got done with a, a, a TV show. We were just got back from another trip with Karate Combat, which I will be working with now more frequently, which is so cool, uh, with GSP and uh, uh, a Boss Rutan and the whole Karate uh, Combat crew. Uh, so this will be exciting. And then I'm excited about that I let these guys know I just got confirmed for my next movie. And I'm going to play a cowboy. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. Um, uh, it, and, and also for my reel, it's just a, a character I've never really done. I've done barbarians. I've done every superhero in the world. I've done the tough guy, the the bounce. So this character is great. He's a, he's a grungy uh, cowboy. And I do get to go and satisfy all you guys that keep saying grow out a beard. I'm going to grow out a beard. Um, Again, all of this that's happening today stems from me giving up my sleep in my late teens and my 20s and working my ass off to get my foot in the door, to win the Mr. Universe, to win the Mr. California powerlifting, to do the uh, tournaments, get on gladiators, do days of our lives, do all these shows. It goes back to I gave up something and it paid dividends. Um, and again, for you guys that are out there going, I don't know how I can train, have a family, do my job and do all these things. And I'm here to tell you, you might have to give up a little something, but man, when I say continue to train smart, um, the only thing that I recommend is if you're not getting sleep, do what I didn't do, uh, back down the workouts intensity, uh, back down the workouts. So you're making sure to recover if you don't have the sleep um, and then you'll find what works for you. I didn't, I didn't need to back it down. I was training with Tom Plaz during this time off of four hours of sleep and we were training legs for three hours. They were the most savage workouts, workouts that a lot of these guys, these tabloid guys can't even do. They can't even do it now. So it goes back to what you really want, what you're having fun with. And here's the biggest, biggest thing for you. You're running out of time. You are honestly running out of time. At a young age, you think you have time. Within five years, you might be married and have a kid, and then that whole dream is gone. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that I'm glad my dad... Here's, here's a fast story for you, and we're going to finish here. Me and my three training partners said, we're going to California, because Joe Weider called me, said, you got to move down here. you got to do this. I need you here. So I told my training partners, they're like, we're all going to go live the dream. We're going to Venice. We're going to get an apartment together. We're going to train at Gold's Gym Venice, and we're going to make this. We're going to become superstars. So June 15th came around, and all three uh, friends uh, called me and said, we're not going. All of them in different ways. Hey, I can't. I'll, I'll meet you next year. I'll do it later. Uh, my dad came in, and I said, well, Dad, here's the scoop. Uh, none of them are going to go with me, so why don't I do this? Why don't I hold off, even though the U-Haul was packed, why don't I hold off for a year and get a little bit more money and all this and that and go? And he said, leave, get in the car before your mother gets home from work and get to California right now. He said, I don't want you here. Best thing he ever said to me. I was going to sabotage myself because I was scared by going to California by myself at that time. And that move from my father saying, get out of here. Don't wait for nothing. Go was the smartest thing he did so many smart things. My dad was my idol, but he, he did. That was a moment where I look back as a youngster and I'm like, well, does he not love me? Why doesn't he want me? Right? No, he knew what he saw in me that I didn't see in me yet. I hoped it was in me, but he saw something in me and he goes, you need to be in California, not in Washington state. And that launched my career a second step. That being said, for you guys that are, waiting to do something i know that's a cliche right oh jump it might not be perfect but man jump 
chase your dream wherever that is and i know that brazil right now a lot of my fans are my brazil took over you guys down there i'm coming down to see you guys and meet all you youngsters because there's so many youngsters that are living their dreams right now and messaging me and what i love is that i got the titan private group where it's only people that are doing uh my my training and nutrition and they can send me messages and videos showing me their workouts, talking to me about training. Uh, I tell them what kind of foods to eat. All that happens right there in the Titan private group. And, and we'll put a link on here on my YouTube. So for anybody else that's on Instagram or TikTok, if you want to be in that group and be able to sit down and talk to me and, and, and go on a Zoom call with me, go over there and get into there. All right. Get into the Titan private group on Facebook. It is facebook.com backslash groups backslash Mike O'Hearn. You get in there. We're going to have conversations. We're going to talk. I'm going to make sure you're doing the nutrition right. And I'm going to also try to teach you this. What do you have to give up to get that dream? Whatever that dream is. All right. That's what it's there for. I'm going to leave it there with you guys. You guys enjoy the day. Um, and again, man, this is this is a fun time for me. So I'm going to try to give as much information on how I got to this point. So if this is something you guys want to try to achieve in any sense, if it's a health and fitness world, the powerlifting, uh, martial arts, just promoting yourself in a sense, in a good way, that you're trying to give honest information to people and not hold people back and not tell everybody, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. That's... That's what we're doing here. And again, you guys will see that the uh, we're going to do a giveaway this weekend of the Titan Test Booster. So if you guys are still trying to go natural, that's what I love. Try to make sure your body is the best it possibly can before you make any other decisions. So we're going to get the Test Booster out to you guys so you guys can try that and get your strength up. Um, that's it, man. Enjoy the day. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Let's get this food.